June, of course, it is not just Child Protection Week, it is Youth Month as well. And who better uh, to get into the groove about Youth Month, of course, than uh, with Y, uh, SA's renowned youth radio station, planning to shake it up as they always do this Youth Month. Uh, last year was very, very good. So, uh, content now a commodity. Y has launched a first of its kind, Y Summit, called Grind. Well, let's bring in uh, someone who knows all about this, of course, the host of Y's, the Lunch League, Tabojo Caddy, uh, Tuatetsi, making time for us this morning. A short walk for you, of course, because in case you don't know, we're actually in the same building yeah. as well. So appreciate you dodging all the traffic uh, to get in <laughs> this <laughs> morning. Wait for you to come to my side of the Oh, we're building. coming to your side? Yeah, yeah. I can do that. Oh, yeah, why we not? Can make, we can make, we can bring cameras. 100%. Great, you see, you're not scared of cameras at all. <laughs> Happy Youth Month. Uh, let's Thank talk you. to me about uh, Grind. Did I even say it right? Yes, it's what is Grind. It? So YFM is hosting the first youth conference, never been done before, guys. Mm. Um, it's called Grind. Now, this is going to be a day on the 24th of June where we have a panel, and we're going to have um, people in the industry who are called content entrepreneurs who are making money from digital platforms who are going to have a panel. We're going to be sitting there discussing everything, which is fashion, music, beauty, and all the other, yeah. All How the do things. they say it? Is it contentpreneurship? Am I contentpreneurs. Contentpreneurs. Yes. Contentpreneurs. Contentpreneurs. It's like a tenderpreneur, but it's legit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so when we start talking about why yeah. uh, you're choosing that kind of content, yeah. why, where, why are you going after, after those particular topics? as well. How do you know how to decide as the host of the show yeah. what you want to go after? Because uh, because of why we know how much power we have and we want to empower and educate young people and I feel like we are the voice of the youth mm. and it's great to have that platform to have young people to come through and join us so they can learn one or two things because mm. we understand what's going on in the country and we have seen a lot of success from content premiers who are making multiple income streams from digital platforms so why not educate the youth mm. so that they can make more money as well? Mm. Because the youth are on are digital. I mean, I say the youth. I mean, even I'm on social media these yeah. days as well because they see it. And this is why I wanted to ask because it's also a little bit of a story of hope. Yeah. Because you see on social media everybody else doing so well. You know what they say, the Insta filters. Mm -hmm. Don't ever believe it. There's a lot of grinding that yeah. goes into that as yeah, well. 100%. And you're making that story real. It's almost like you're taking your listeners behind the lens and behind the story of how they got there. Yes, 100%. As a person who's into fashion, it's so important because I know that fashion has taken, taken me from one place to another. Mm. So I just want to educate people, man, and make them feel free about who they are and show them a couple of things about fashion that they can use to actually make money. Well, come on, give me a sneak peek then. We'll talk to me about fashion then. So let's say yeah. it's the 24th of June. I'm there in the studio with you, and yes. I don't know you're into fashion. Yes. Clearly I am. I've been wearing the same suit for six <laughs> years uh, and the same hairstyle. So tell me your journey then, fashion. Yeah. Where did that start? How did you get here? Um, I've always loved clothes, and I was very shy person at first and me dressing up would always spark a conversation from anyone because I'm a very colorful person I love wearing things that are not you know the same as everybody else I like mm. standing out and being unique mm. and it always sparks a conversation where if you see me Gareth you're gonna be like oh my god you look so great yeah. Yeah. Then I'll be like oh yeah thank you so much and you'd ask me where I got my sneakers or where I got they my are the cleanest my sneakers in the building by the way can you get your foot on the table yeah 100%. this is great there we go there we go. Cleanest sneakers uh, <laughs> in the in the building, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, I mean that's that's how I you know I, I hold my fashion, and spark a conversation, and from there you know if somebody if I look good, somebody will call me to come be here, and you know. That's why we did it because exactly. of the hats. We were having a debate off air. Should the are they called flaps? <laughs> yeah, they call flaps. They, I, 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 I don't know whether to right. put them down yeah. or to put them up. Tell you what, so they're up at the moment. Take them down for now. We'll take an online poll later. Let's see what okay. people on, on ETV and ENCA actually have to say about this. There the problem go. as well, though, is uh, you're talking fashion, you're talking uh, digital media, all those things that you're going to have on the 24th of June with Grind. Yes. Do you get a sense, and because I'm a news person, I'm always going to ask this question, do you get a sense the youth care or are interested in news, current affairs, politics, politicians, blah, 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 because that's where, that's where the power of, of our country sits? I mean, it's always a thing of if it, if it, it impacts me, then I'll care about it. Mm. Other than that, there's so many things that happen in this country that are not resolved all the time. So it's more of a thing of if it's going to be in my world and it's going to affect me, then I'll care about it and I'll mm. do something about it. Mm. But most of the time, it's always a thing of we'll just let the elders to deal with it right. and we will deal with what we can deal with. Yeah. So take it back, take the control back. Take control what you can. Yes, control I think what you where, can. Where you're getting at with 100%. this as well. Uh, so now, uh, apart from the engaging with the creators, the influencers, the designers yes. uh, as well, 
beyond the 24th. So you're going to be one of those people, I'm sure, along with the, the Lunch League as well. Yes. Going to be giving the ideas, the tips, talking to the experts. Yeah. How do you know it works? After um, June, because you know, Youth Month, we always have these discussions. Yes, we forget about it for a year. Yes, how do you know it works? Well, like I said before, we are the voice of the youth, and if you're going to come w to the conference, we expect you to take something home. Mm. Um, not everybody's going to take everything home, but at least one thing. So, our um, strong point is just to get there, speak to the people, advise them on what they need to do. If you take it, you take it. If you don't take it, you take it. Mm. But um, I think we're very good at making young people believe in themselves and showing them new things in life. So it, it, they will take something home. They're going to take something home. One hundred percent. I want to get details of Grind and uh, the conference in just a moment. Uh, can you? How do the kids say these? Can you drop some names? Can I say that? <laughs> so right? we've got OK Wasabi. <laughs> okay. Um, we've got. Um, I don't want. Okay, we've got Candice Mudisele. Yes, I don't okay. want to give too much away. We've got Candice Mudisele. We've got Mugellings. Uh, we've got Samurai for Rai, we've got Liyako, we've got myself, we've got mm. Lula. Uh, most of the y FT, uh, YFM team is going to be there as well. Mm. So there's going to be a couple of people who are going to be chilling. How do you get us. into Grind? What do you need to do? As I start saying goodbye yeah. to you, how do you get into this? Okay, cool. So you need to buy tickets, 150 mm. at Pro Tickets. Get the you ticket. better hope it's 150. I think you just discounted <laughs> it by mistake. No, it is. It's 150 <laughs> uh, pro tickets. It's going to be taking place at Atlas Studios in Mill Park. Mm -hmm. So get yourself a ticket right away. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be super fun. All right. Well, congratulations and all the best to you and the Lunch League for doing this as well for Youth Month. You see, this is the idea of also getting people, by the way, getting people into broadcasting. The youth, that's got to be there. Yeah, 100%. It's got to be. That's why yeah. you're here. Thank uh, you, And you're guys. doing an incredible job at uh, showing the youngsters how it can be done as well in the real world, not just on Insta Reels or Face Tweet or whatever it's called uh, <laughs> these days. I know what it's called. It's called Twitter, I think it's, it's called. Twitter, yes. It's, is it Twitter thing? It's I was Twitter. kidding. I was kidding. <laughs> All right. Sure. So thanks very much to Boko Kari Totetsi, wife in the Lunch League, uh, the host of that, talking about uh, what is coming up later this month for Youth Month. Grind uh, later on. You can, as you heard, go get your tickets. You want to be part of that. It's real world knowledge from those who live it, for those who've learnt it, for those who are leading it uh, later this month. Taking